Hello everyone, this is KJ4YZI. You're watching Ham Radio Concepts. And my thoughts and prayers to everybody who is stuck inside their home today. My gosh, it is spectacular out here. It's like 72 degrees. Uh, beautiful, beautiful weather out here in Florida. Vero Beach, Florida to be specific. And you may be wondering, well, Eric, I've seen posts. You sold all your radio stuff. And yes, it broke my heart. But where are you? What's What the hell's going on? Well, I'll get to that in another video. But you can see here we are not at the typical Ponderosa. In fact, you may see the new ham shack in the back over there. Yes, the pool right in front of it with the jacuzzi. We're going to get to that in another video and show you why my life was turned upside down, but what's going to be better in the future. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to play with some GMRS stuff. Um, I've gotten beaten up for part three of GMRS. Hey, Eric, you know, you, you pushed all this stuff, GMRS, and then... One of our big sponsors at the Treasure Coast Ham Fest, uh, BuyTwoWayRadio.com, they've had uh, quite a few years of selling, uh, you know, handhelds and radios for amateurs, anything from a Bofung to a Ushan to other, you know, Nagoya antennas and stuff, and they have quite a selection. But they sent me some stuff um, with they they sent a lot of prizes for the Treasure Coast Ham Fest as uh, great generous sponsors for giveaways. We had to give away every 15 minutes. I mean, radios, antennas, not little stuff, big stuff. So thank you to buy 2 Radio. And they sent me some GMRS stuff. And the cool thing about this is um, I'm going to upgrade my Midland GMRS radio that I have in my vehicle. Actually, somebody, a friend of mine, Benjamin, is already buying it with the little antenna. But I have uh, a more modern GMRS 50-watt mobile and a brand new handheld and some antennas by Nagoya and Diamond. Thanks, uh, thanks from buy 2 radiocom but check it out. Because I have a GMRS license, right, WRCU 707, um, that covers my entire immediate family for uh, licensing. So guess what? The wife is actually able to be on GMRS and talk to me and other people uh, with our license. I don't know if that would be WRCU, uh, WRCU 707 Unit 2 or Stroke 2 or you just use the same call sign. I'm not sure. But she's got a brand new Ushan or Ocean or Wuxan handheld and I got a brand new Ushan or Uxan or Ocean, however you pronounce it, it's a big controversy there, uh, 50 watt mobile. So she'll be on GMRS and uh, that'll be fun. I got some antennas and stuff. So uh, let's break this into a couple series videos. We're going to talk about the GMRS linking project. Now, since part two that I did, linking on GMRS has gone pretty, uh, pretty popular. In fact, there's a repeater close to me that is linked all the way up the east coast of the United States. And they have a, world, a, a nationwide net and a statewide net every Sunday night. And it's pretty cool, man. There's a lot of hams on there. Uh, GMRS has a, a, a valued or a viable place in this hobby. It's great. You just buy the license. You don't have to be, you know, test for it. You don't have to test and get your license. But uh, aside from that, it gives me another media of or medium of transmitting and receiving on something other than ham radio and CB. So let me show you what I have. We'll break it up. I'll show you the, the linking project. I'll show you the radios I got. And then we'll get Michelle, WRCU707, on the camera in one of these videos talking to me through a GMRS repeater. So thanks for watching. Let's get right to it. This is Ham Radio Concepts. Does ham radio interest you? If so, visit hamradioprep.com to begin the journey. The learning begins at hamradioprep.com. All right, so out here on the porch of the RV that I'm still currently living in, but not for long, um, I'll just throw this stuff out here because, I, you know, it's kind of hard to make videos and do all this stuff while you live in an RV, although me and my wife loved it. Uh, and right now it is currently running on solar off-grid. The, the air conditioner has been on all day long on solar and battery. No power required. But anyways, we'll get to that in another video. Check out my other channel, The Ponderosa. So check this out. I remember I had the, what was it, the KGUV uh, 805D and, and some other radios. I can't remember uh, the 920 and the 950. Remember they had the Ushan quad band radio that I had. It had 10 meters, 6 meters, 2 meters, and 440. And then they have the dual band. Well, this one is the Ushan or Ocean or Uxon uh, version of the GMRS you know, radio. And it's got a detachable face. And we're going to go through this. And the thing about GMRS is, check it out. There's really not a lot of programming. In fact, 
the Midland radio I have and these radios I have here, there's no programming because they're all channelized per the GMRS channel spectrum. The tones may change, so you can use a different PL or CTCSS tone to access repeaters. But this is the 50 watt radio. So I have I haven't even opened a manual yet. I've been looking at it online. This is the Wushan or Ukshan KG 1000 G professional GMRS transceiver. It's got a really nice, heavy, solid feel to it. Again, I'm familiar with this feel from the KGUV 950P, I think it was. I have a video on that too. So I'm familiar with the feel. And if you look what it comes with, it does come with the microphone, the power cable, it's got the mic hanger with the fuses, the remote head cable, okay? The mounting bracket and all you would expect, including a manual. Uh, and we'll get into this a little bit more in detail as I install it in my truck. Now, that again is from buy2wayradio.com. Thank you buy2wayradio.com for sending this to me. Yes, they sent it for it and buy it, but they were a gracious sponsor. So they provided a lot of people uh, gifts for the giveaways at the Ham Fest in Treasure Coast, which is happening, I think, on December 11th again this year. So you got to see that. Now, this is the other one from Ushan, the two-way radio. This is the GMRS, the KG805G. Both of these have the standard 22 GMRS channels um, and uh, you know for simplex and the eight GMRS channels for repeaters. This is a five watt handheld. It's got all the CTCSS tones, Vox, three color backlit display and more multiple scanning modes, uh, alarm function and more. So we're gonna check that out, but that is also brand new. And this is what I'm going to give uh, my wife to use, okay, because she'll be able to, under my license, use this. So this is now her radio, and that will get her sparked up to really get involved in radio. Then she can get on hamradioprep.com and get her ham radio license in a quick fashion. And if you look in the description, hamradioprep.com, use the code ERIC20, you get 20% off on your licensing courses. So buy2wayradio.com also sent me um, a Nagoya magnet mount base. This has the RG58 on it. Uh, four meters in length with the UHF connector. It's a magnet mount. And they also sent me, it's all over the place here, my new Nagoya GMRS antenna, the NL770G. That's for 462 megahertz for the GMRS. Handles 150 watts, 6 dBi gain. So I also have a Diamond, would you believe Diamond is making GMRS antennas? And I got that from them a while ago and just never got around to making the video. They make base and mobile antennas. So GMRS is really taking off, especially with the linking project. I encourage everybody to hit the, uh, the FCC and pay the $35 for 10 years or $70. I think it's going down to 35. Uh, to get the GMRS license. And a lot of the people on there that you already know on ham are using GMRS because it's just another medium of talking. It really is, it's got its own place, just like CB. It's more organized than CB, but it's got a greater distance with this new linking project. So what we're gonna do first, and now that I showed you this, okay, you're gonna wanna see this radio, you're gonna wanna see the antenna, you're gonna wanna see the, the handheld, and then the diamond antenna, and I'm gonna show you now what I have currently, in case you missed it, and I'm going to first start this video with the uh, GMRS linking project and show you how or what I've noticed about that or you know seen on that. And then we'll get into video two, video three, video four, and we'll really wrap this GMRS thing up. And I hope to talk to you on there. Um, let me show you what I got in my truck now. All right, so here's what I have here in the vehicle currently, a little dusty from working and stuff, but the Midland Micro Mobile MXT 400 GMRS 40 watt mobile with the included microphone. And I'm using the Midland 6DB uh, magnet mount antenna, which started to rust. It did work, but it wasn't probably as good as the Diamond or the Nagoya that I'm gonna put on there. So this has been quite well, and it has worked well, and it has all the CTCSS and all the channels for FRS and GMRS. It's a good radio, I did a review on it, uh, but it's time to upgrade to that Ushan. So this um, is what This is what uh, I currently use on GMRS, but I'm going to be replacing this once I clean out my truck and get this mounted in here uh, Audio has been great radios never failed me It's been a great great radio as a small one. They have the micro mobile the 215 or the 115 a little 15 watt and 5 watt units. This is a 40 watt. And it's, it's been really well um, so we're going to show you um, 
what's going to happen here with the new radio when I install it. But in the meantime, that little micro mobile from Midland has been pretty good. But uh, I think this Ushan is going to be a lot better. Welcome to the WQEJ 577 repeater. Join us for the weekly regional GMRF net every Sunday at 7 p.m., followed by the national GMRF net at 8 p.m. So in a previous video, I did mention that the MyGMRS.com website is the place to go to check out repeaters that are currently on the air. Every week I get an email on new GMRS repeaters that were added. And they also have a link section, like link.mygmrs.com and a map. And if you look at the map, uh, and, and I may be, you know, there may be other sources, but if you look at the map now, you'll start to see Austin here is linked uh, hub T the, the TX or Texas GM. What did that say? Let me go back here. Texas GMRS Net Hub, and that is connected to several repeaters here that is linked. Now, the one that I'm going through is this one here, and this for some reason doesn't show that it's linked to all these up here because I know there was people in Georgia that were popping in, people in Delaware, people in uh, Detroit or not Michigan, somewhere. They were all linked up. So this is becoming a linked network, and this is a little bit different than Echo Link. I'll tell you why. So you can also link through GMRS with Zello, and you've seen no videos where I recommend using any sort of, you know, Zello, you know, I'm against the people that say, I don't need a radio, I'll download the app and be on the radio and save money. No, let's keep it RF, let's keep it radio wise. Now, you may say, well, that's great, but when the internet fails and everything goes down, this link won't work because it goes over the internet. Well, that's fine, you're right, but you'll still have GMRS through a local repeater or simplex communications. Um, but you can go through Zello, but I like going like right through this one right here, Fort Pierce 575. Okay. The 462.575. And that repeater is busy all the time. And again, that is, you know, connected to Texas as well as up the East coast of the United States with the nationwide net every Sunday. I think it's linked all the time. This, uh, my GMRS website will, will give you a lot of information on a lot of repeaters. And I think this is not all of them. I can tell you this is not all of them because if you zoom in, if my internet here will allow, you can zoom in and there'll be other little ones that pop up here and there because there's quite a bit of them in Florida. Some of them are not active. Some of them are not used as much, but uh, my internet here is slow, so that probably won't load here at the moment. But anyways, you get the idea. The link is in the description. I want you to check out mygmrs.com and check out the linking and a couple other links that I add in the description of the video uh, to show what this has done or what it's become. Okay, for GMRS. Again, uh, on a tangent here, there are ham radio operators. I am a ham radio operator. Uh, there are people that use CB. I love CB. I always will. There are people that use GMRS, and you may say, well, I don't want to talk with a bunch of people that just buy a license, but hey, just because you have a ham radio license, maybe somebody else, give them that fighting chance to buy a license and be interested in how this works and how it links and how you can talk to people more formally than a CB to get them involved in something like ham radio, okay? Give them that chance. Don't talk down to them or act like they're different because you studied for a license and they bought one. I bought a GMRS license. I didn't have to study, although I am a ham. There are people that are going to take this and it will be their gateway drug into something more serious like ham radio. But I kind of enjoy having a different group of people because I get to talk to people on this repeater that have never talked about ham radio or touched ham radio in their life. And they're like, wow, you mean there's more than this? And I start talking with them and they get so interested. So give them that opportunity. But for those who have CB and have ham radio, check it out. We got GMRS too. And that is a great way to just keep in communication. And hey, it's going to be the starting factor for my wife to get on this repeater right here with her handheld that buy 2 radioscom sent. I'm going to make a review on it and she'll have it. And she'll be like, wow, this is cool. How do I talk to you on ham radio? Well, that's when I get her involved in it. But anyways, the links are in the description for this. Um, there's there's uh, a, lot to, a lot more to learn, but uh, GMRS is taking off. And I can tell you, uh, in a, a very, well, I won't say who, but I, I know a few distributors and dealers and manufacturers, and they're all telling me this. They said, Eric, C this is CB like it was in the 70s. This, the CB radios and antennas are, are out of stock everywhere. And the same thing is happening with GMRS. They said, Eric, GMRS is on 
fire. I can't keep GMRS radios or antennas in stock. And I won't tell you who that is, but I can tell you three or four different vendors or manufacturers have said the same thing. People are buying them out the wazoo. So this is a, a great way. And, and of course, you're probably thinking, man, I want to see your videos and those radios I got. Well, we're going to get into that. But this is a great way to start right here at mygmrs.com. We'll make, we have decided to do the national net on the last Sunday of the month. So just let anybody know there will not be a national net after the Eastern Regional. We will only be doing that on the last Sunday of the month. So if you're interested to see what okay, kind we'll of activity is on GMRS, net, this local repeater has a net uh, every Sunday night for the Eastern Regional Net. Followed, I think that's at 7, uh, Eastern Standard Time, followed by the National Net or Nationwide Net at 8 p.m. But they said they're changing it to the last Sunday of the month. So a lot of uh, GMRS activity here on this repeater. And this is one of the link systems uh, among many. But listen to some of the action on here. It's here. Now, I'm in Florida. They're taking Georgia net, uh, Georgia check-ins. Okay, you got you, Eric. Any other new or missed check-ins for the state of Georgia? For those of you who remember my DMR smartphone. Okay, we're going to move on to new or missed Zello check-in. Any new or missed Zello check-in. My R-Finder B1 DMR dual band analog and digital smartphone Android radio. WQKS419, WQKS419. Okay, we're going to move Actually works and terrific on and GMRS. And presently in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Works great on GMRS, and I just did hear that they're also linked to Zello. So you can get into GMRS through the Zello app on a network link. But my R-Finder B1 uh, DMR smartphone actually works well on GMRS because it's a wideband for UHF. So uh, I am using GMRS on this handheld uh, phone, smartphone slash radio as well. But the, uh, the local net here, the regional eastern net, Comes in pretty good here on this phone, which is actually WRDU with the Romeo Delta United 953 from Wilmington trying to do a check in. I didn't hear Delaware. I don't know if it's a comms issue or not, but uh, no traffic. I'm about 20 something miles from the repeater, but a lot of traffic up the east coast of the United States. Uh, Alright, so I'll show you what I got here in this truck, which I haven't showed anybody yet. This is uh, made by Diamond. This is the Diamond MC203 GMRS commercial mobile antenna with cutting chart. So we're gonna test this out too. And we have more coming. GMRS wideband commercial antenna from Compactenna. And that video and those videos are coming as well. So uh, long story short, this is an update at part three to let you know that I am you know, a lot of people said, again, uh, where is part three? In fact, I had so many people that were uh, just complaining and yelling. Yes, I, I kind of didn't drop out of it. I just, I actually, before I made that video, there wasn't a lot of action on the local repeaters um, until that, you know, linking project really started. So once that happened, I got right back into it. Um, so check out uh, videos four and five, which are coming. And four, five, and six, those are going to be the, the Ushan uh, 50 watt mobile, and then the Ushan handheld for GMRS, and the uh, different antennas I have for GMRS, like the Diamond and the Nagoya and the uh, the other ones. So thanks for watching. This is a preview of what's to come, but check out GMRS. The link is in the description. You basically go to the FCC website. You you, you pay for the, the license. You buy it. Uh, and it shows up now. When I got mine, it was like two days and they issued that in the FRS or F, uh, uh, FRN number had my license on there before I got it in the mail. But um, lately I've heard, you know, a couple weeks, so they might be pretty busy on there. So stay tuned, more videos on the way, a lot to deal with here or a lot to uh, yeah, deal with here.
uh, in making this video. I have a full-time job and a lot of stuff on my plate. So just watch the video, stay in tune, and uh, more videos are on the way. This is KJ4YZI73.